getting Wilfredized. Woof. The creator of the show, Jason Gann, at four seasons in, is this yeah. a first? First. Painting an interviewer's nose? Yeah, that's the first. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, they, they haven't let me paint a nose in many years. I used to, when I did the short film um, back in 2001, I'd paint my own nose, and, but now I have like a team of eight people. That, now you have makeup artists doing this for you. That's how yeah. big time you are. This is yeah. what happens when you take your Australian show to the States. You get somebody else drawing in your nose for you. Sold out. I actually put you, you did sell mm. out. The last thing I want to do is spend the weekend with Drew. Drew's presence is a small price to pay to have your God by your side. How's the experience been being on a being on a TV show? It's been incredible. It's been incredible. And I think a great deal of why it's been wonderful is the group of people whom we get to make the show with. Most of the time my experience has been making films and those are standalone experiences. You don't get to come back. So to have that experience was really unique and different and we became a family. I forgive you for what you said the other day, just like I forgave you for kissing Jenna. That's two forgives, if you're counting. What's so crazy about being on the show is that I've never had a bad day, really. I love the cast, I love the crew, um, I love the show, like it's a show I watch, and every day is just, it's so much fun. Right there, I forgive you for rolling through that stop sign. You're back to four, Ryan, four forgives. And you're not stopping! So are you going to take us on a, a tour? I am. You want to go? very sweet of you. Yes. So we have to talk a little more quiet because they're rolling. This is what happens. We're not allowed to talk. So we're going to keep it down. <laughs> we're going to talk very quietly. I think it's so funny. Our entire house is surrounded in green screen. The fact that they're able to green screen and all the stuff they need, it's, it's incredible. I love the artwork on the set. Um, I think it's some of the most beautiful stuff. This is one of my absolute favorite pictures of Venice. This is one of my favorite little like, I just think this little walnut thing is super cute. I don't know why. Is there anything you want to take with you? I, I want to take that. Or <laughs> Funny story about this bathroom. Last season, we had to do this thing where um, Wilfred was like looking at people and they go to the bathroom and taking pictures. And so I had to like come in one day and like sit on the toilet with my underwear around my ankles and like a photograph for like his like picture collection of people like pooing. And I was just like <laughs> mortified. It doesn't take a lot to make me blush. It's kind of funny. Any incidents on set? Sort of looking back? There's a scene in the first season where I'm supposed to like get down and like hump a stuffed animal. <laughs> what are you doing? Mom! That, that may have made that me like initially it. blush. This room they will use for my bedroom. They'll use it for an office. They'll use it for so many different spaces. Um, and that's just so crazy to me. They'll walk in here and it's a completely different room. This is Ryan's room. Um, a lot of us will just like hang out in here and take naps. Apparently there were some crew members in here a few minutes ago. Doing <laughs> a few that. minutes ago. That's why it's a little messy. The first time Chris and I worked together, Chris Klein, like on his very first day of work, he had to like pretend like he was having like vicious, crazy sex with me. But Randall, our director, was so worried I'd get hurt that he ended up, <laughs> like, I, I sat in, like, body makeup for, like, eight hours waiting to shoot the scene, and then at the end I didn't do it, and they just put, like, a, uh, like, a pillows or something in there for him because they were, like, we were, they were, like, afraid. <laughs> I would have volunteered. I'd be like, I'll take the chance. <laughs> as far as the ending goes, did you have a big say in the ending? Was it again the writer's room? Like, who got, who got the final word? I mean, who gets to decide how the show ends? When I come over here, you know, the, I didn't want to make the Australian show again. It was a very conscious decision to make a different show. And so uh, I was very open-minded with the new uh, direction of the show. And um, David Zuckerman, who was back on board this year, was going to um, have some radical ideas. And, and they were the radical ideas I thought he was going to have. And, I, I was just like totally cool with it. You know? I've been thinking about the whole am I a dog, am I a god thing, and I've discovered something that's going to blow your mind. That's what's so kind of cool about the show, right? is it often goes in places that you, you don't expect, whereas certain shows you're like, and that's going to happen, and that's yeah. going to happen, and Movies that's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, and this, it's not like that. Do you have a favorite moment, sort of, over the last seasons? The dance sequence was really great in terms of how it all turned out. It was really fun to kind of break a wall in our show and do something that was as surrealist and kind of heightened yeah. as that. That remains a fond memory. And now we are in the backyard. 
which is not really a backyard. This is where we shot Jenna and Drew's wedding, where we shot Jenna's 30th birthday party, and lots of other scenes. I'm just naming the Jenna ones. A lot of times, too, um, we'll also all hang out here, um, hair and makeup, and just kind of crew whenever we try to like, relax, and we lay on the grass. And <laughs> You're going to have to help me get back to my car. It's about time you let me take the lead. Here, take my tail. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. You made it to the final season. Okay. Who do you think is most likely to cry first on the last day? Oh, I've already been crying. So have I, you? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I get the like the one-liners where um, it'll say like what the last scenes are and what happens, I'm like... <laughs> we actually had a scene um, that's in one of the, the last episodes. And it wasn't really written into the scene that we were supposed to cry. It's just kind of a beautiful moment. And it, it felt so real to both of us that we both really? kind of couldn't help it. And we were literally crying. It was really hard. My latest plan is now that Wilfred's finished is like um, setting up maybe in Colorado or somewhere, but setting up a, um, like you know, like how Santa every year has like, he sits on a chair and he gets requests from kids and he's an evil. Wilfred will like sit on the couch on a sofa and people can have a bong with Wilfred and get a tennis ball on the way out and, uh, <laughs> and you know, charge 50 bucks, 50 bucks a photo and they get one joke each. <laughs>